This is The Reality. Hello again, welcome to The Reality, a half-hour talk show talking about the reality of real life as discovered in a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. I'm Dudley Anderson and it's really good to be with you. If you've got a story to tell of the reality of Jesus in your life, I would love to hear from you. Why not send it to me by email at dudley at surereality.net. The Reality is produced by Sure Reality, a listener-supported radio ministry. But today on The Reality, we feature the Reality Bible Special. Today, sharing it with Pastor Paul Pearson. I'm joined today by Pastor Paul Pearson. So good to have him in the studio with me. We're going to be reading from Ephesians chapter 3 from verses 14 to 21. Verse 14 says, For this reason I bow my knee to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man. Today we discuss the mystery of God's grace to call us to be a family in Christ and to know the riches of his power and might. He says something here which is which is amazing from whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named. We are named as a family. And I think the difference needs to be made that when family get together, family will share, family will cry, family will laugh, family will do all kinds of things together. And and the, the mystery that Paul is talking about here is we are so, so rich as a family. This is the reality of the mystery. Well, it's really my pleasure once again to have in the studio today for the Reality Bible Special, Pastor Paul Pearson. Thank you for joining us, Paul. You're welcome. It's good to be here. Lovely to have you. We've been uh, just getting into God's Word, getting God's Word into us in the Bible series. Uh, And today we're going to be talking about the mystery as uh, you have uh, uh, coined in uh, the title of today's program, looking at Ephesians chapter 3, reading from verse 14. For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height, to know the love of Christ which passes the knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we should ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Wow. What an incredible scripture. Tell us about it. Ephesians 3 split into three three parts. We have the mystery revealed, the purpose of the mystery, and then we come on to this last section, and that is the appreciation of the mystery. Paul, throughout the whole epistle, um, is, is leading us through a journey. The first half of the Ephesians is the doxology, you know, the, 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 the thinking of God in all of this. Then it has its practical outworking in the last few chapters. But this bit here, I, I, I've been captured by this for for many years. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I love to just read it line by line mm. and just, just expound some of the, 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 the great truths uh, uh, of God. Um, Paul takes a position of, of that of a servant of bowing his knee in the presence of Christ. And I think we could do with more of that, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, I know I could, you know, just taking a knee in the presence of Yeshua mm-hmm. and, and saying, <laughs> words cannot capture what you have done uh, for me mm-hmm. and, and words cannot capture what you've done for my family. And, and, and just even recently uh, with, with my newborn grandson, mm-hmm. um, how the, uh, the saints of God joined us in praying for his his health. He was very seriously ill, oh. um, but it was just an amazing thing to see uh, people come together. Uh, he then he, he says something here, which is which is which is amazing. From whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named. Mm. 
we are named as a family. Mm. Mm. We're brothers, we're sisters, we're named as a family. We are not a church, mm-hmm. we are a family. Mm. And I think the difference needs to be made that when family get together, family will share, family will cry, family will laugh, family will do all kinds of things together. Um, and it's not an hour and a half on a Sunday morning. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's family. Mm-hmm. Family's all the time. Mm-hmm. Family is, is uh, and, and the, the mystery that Paul is talking about here, the appreciation of the mystery, is we are so, so rich as a family. Mm. And if we can see each other as a family, there's a, a an innate sense of belonging, you know, where I belong to you, you belong to me. Mm. Yeah, and, and that is something that we need to recapture. The riches of, of his grace, the riches mm. of his inheritance. We often think of these things, again, in, in terms of uh, physical things as riches, you know, King Solomon was the richest man on the planet, Mm. and yet his soul needed to still be touched by God. Mm. Mm. His soul needed to be, God needed to speak to him. And people came from afar and gave him adulation for all the wealth and everything that he got, and yet his soul was more important to God than Mm. all the wealth in in the world. Mm. Mm. And how much of that, you know, if by some miracle you or I became multimillionaires overnight, <laughs> that would be a miracle. <laughs> it would be a miracle. Uh, it, we would suddenly find out that we had so-called friends and family mm. coming from everywhere mm. that they haven't bothered with us before, but now they're coming because <laughs> they want something. Mm. But the family of God is something completely different. The family of God is 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 a is a knitting together. Paul in, 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 in Corinthians talks about the you know when when one part of the body suffers we all suffer when one part of the body rejoices we all rejoice mm. because we're family mm. I want to be in a position where I, I can serve to empower others to succeed mm. you know that's really what I see uh, God's calling me to do Mm-hmm. is so that other people can succeed. I want people to, to shoot for the stars. Lovely. I want people to go beyond where, wherever I've got to because I know there's more <laughs> that God has for all of us. And, and to the listeners, I would say this uh, today. Um, the only limitation on God doing something through you is what you think he can. Mm, interesting. Say that again. The only limitation on what you think you can do through God in you is, is how you think. Mm. Yeah? It's how we think. Do I believe God wants to, to bless me? Mm-hmm. Do I believe God wants to uh, cause me to be an influencer? Do I believe God wants me to um, touch the lives of other people? Oh, God, I could never do that. Jeremiah was like that. He said, I can't even speak. Mm. <laughs> and yet God used him as a prophet. Mm. Moses couldn't speak. God mm. used him as a prophet. If God can do that with them, mm. God can do it through everyone who is listening to this broadcast today. Absolutely right. Without the power of the Holy Spirit that God has left this world with mm-hmm. is immense. Immense. Well, it does say, uh, according to his riches and glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, Paul, on, on the program, we were talking about being filled with the Spirit, and the, mm. the Spirit dwells within us as physical uh, people. Uh, our bodies become the temple of the Holy Spirit. If you know Jesus as Lord and Savior, you've been born again by mm. the Spirit, so the Holy Spirit comes into you. The baptism of the Spirit is a, an overwhelming in the power of Holy Spirit, but at the point of rebirth, the Spirit of God actually comes to your inner man. Mm. Mm. Because you and I are are three-part beings, aren't we? We've got a a body, that's a part you could see, a part that gets pimples (laughs) and has to have a bath once a day. Grey hair. Loses its hair and goes grey. We've got a mind or a soul, which is the middle man. That's our intellect, our creativity, our thinking. And there's a deeper part, which is uh, referenced here as the inner man. Yeah. It's the invisible part. Even our souls are visible because I have mannerisms and behavior and personality, which you can see mm. as you talk with me. But my inner man 
you cannot see. Uh, and again, referring back to one or two of the other Bible studies that we've done together, uh, Jesus said we will worship in spirit and in truth. When we worship God, it manifests yeah. in our body and through our intellect, and through our voices and our creativity. But the actual worship originates and happens in the, the spirit, spirit, in that inner man. And when you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, that Holy Spirit of God gives life to your mortal spirit. Yep. And that's the inner man. Here it says that you're strengthened through that Holy Spirit, the same one that you received when you were born again. Mm. The same power of God, the same dunamos. Just mm. by the way, a little aside here. Uh, I believe the word dunamos, the Greek word from which we get the word dynamite, isn't just physical power like the power of lightning or electricity. It's supernatural power. Yeah. And that's the power that God gives us, strength with his mighty power in our inner spirit. What for? To live this life, to live on earth, to serve him, to love him, to look forward to the glory in which we, uh, we hope Christ in me, the spirit of God in me, is the hope of glory. So, yes, come on. Uh, he gives me that life by the glorious riches of Jesus, that power of his spirit. And with it, of course, as we previously discussed, he meets our physical, tangible needs too because he loves us. No father will give us a, a stone when mm. he's asking for bread. He loves us and he meets our physical needs. But that strength in the inner spirit is what gets me through to tomorrow and gets me through to eternal life. But there's a story of a, a, a priest uh, in the Second World War who, who's captured with Jewish people and they're, they're in a container and they're about to be executed. And... Um, and, and there's lots of screaming and there's lots of, of challenges going on and he calms them down and he begins to sing. Mm. He begins to worship God and although the, the gas is pumped into there, he keeps on singing for something like 48 hours. Mm. He keeps on singing, mm. you know, the goodness and the mercy of God until his physical body could take no more. And it awakened something in the people that heard it and saw it. And, and that, that can only come mm. from the Holy Spirit, you know, e exploding inside of our, mm. our very being mm. and mm. captivating every, every, every molecule, every, every nerve, every ounce of yeah, us yeah. so that we can, be, we can live the life that we need to live. I find it, um, it um, somewhat interesting that how I look back on my years as as, uh, as a servant of Christ, where would I have been today had I not been for the Holy Spirit? Mm. <laughs> just, just, I, I can't begin to explain. Um, even in the times when I've got things wrong in my natural thinking, God redirects me mm. into, into, you know, <laughs> uh, I, I, I often quote that scripture in Romans, all things work together for good to those who love God, even my mistakes. Now, oh, yeah. I try not to make them, and I'm Jeez. sure our listeners don't try and make them, but sometimes we do make them. Yeah, yeah. But be assured that God will turn that which is negative into something positive for his glory and for his kingdom to strengthen us. Yeah. So that we can live a life, the life of Christ in us, the world can see. And it, it, it takes courage. It takes honesty. It takes submission. It, it, it takes uh, a, a humility to live as Jesus lived. Mm. And I'm just rediscovering and by looking at how Jesus lived, you know, how he dealt with people. It's really interesting. He could only do it through the Holy Spirit living in him. Only by the Holy Spirit, uh, and that we can comprehend by the Holy Spirit mm. what the depth uh, and the length and the width and the height wow. of, uh, of the universe, <laughs> I suppose, of, of creation, of God. Of, of, I, I, that's a mystery. I can't get my head around that one. And, and, that, and that's the thing, isn't it? He, he actually says here that you can understand that which is not understandable. Mm. Because it's not received through our intellect, it's received through our spirit. The confidence of knowing, knowing that God is with you Amen. in every moment of every day. Absolutely. Fantastic. Talking about the mystery of God and the mystery of living for Jesus today with Pastor Paul Pearson in the Reality Bible Special. Paul, we're going to take a little break and be back after this. 
You're listening to The Reality, produced by Sure Reality, a listener-supported radio ministry. We depend on the generous gifts of our listener to produce this program. You can help reach millions of folks with the sure reality of the message of Jesus by becoming a Sure Reality Vision Partner. To partner with us, please visit the website surereality.net and click on Become a Vision Partner. If you've just joined us, a hearty hello. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Dudley Anderson, and you're listening to The Reality. Just to remind you that The Reality can also be heard on podcast at the website surereality.net. Well, today on The Reality, we're featuring The Reality Bible Special, getting into God's Word and getting God's Word into our hearts. Reading today, as we have, from Ephesians chapter 3. We read from verse 14 to 16, talking about the reality of the mystery that we have in Jesus Christ. That it was God in His grace who chose to come and dwell among us, to dwell among man in the form of His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, though He was perfect and sinless, took sin upon Himself upon the cross when He died for us. When he rose again, thank God, he set us free from the clutches of sin and death. In Christ, therefore, we are chosen to be a family, blessed to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height of all of creation and the knowledge of God. To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with the fullness of God. God's love was manifest through Jesus Christ, that we might understand the reality of of this mystery. With us today on the Reality Bible Special, we're joined by Pastor Paul Pearson. Wonderful. Well, speaking with Pastor Paul Pearson today, sharing the show with him in the Reality Bible Special, looking at Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 14 to to 21, which Pastor Paul is entitled, The Mystery. And we're talking about uh, the indwelling of God's Holy Spirit through faith to uh, comprehend width, length, depth, height, all that God wants us to know and understand in the world, uh, and that is by faith in Jesus. Tell me more about this, please, Pastor Paul. A mystery by definition is something that's unknown. Yet, when we walk in the presence of God, that which is mysterious begins to become revealed. And so God will open up for us avenues and opportunities where we create space for him to do the work that the Holy Spirit needs to do. You know, I think it's in John's Gospel where it says that the Holy Spirit will convict. Mm. I look back sadly on my time and, you know, I've kind of ranted and raved and tried to, you know, you need to get saved, you need to get saved, you need to, which is true, but it's not me who should be doing that. I just need to speak the love, the mercy and the grace of God The mystery really is why would God want to do this with us human beings? Hmm. I don't know if some of your listeners may have thought this, you know, why didn't God just wipe it all out and start again, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. and you know, from scratch? Um, Because in his infinite plan, we are valuable to God. Mm -hmm. We're, We're deemed highly prized by God. That's why there's such an eternal battle, you know, for, for people's lives. And the mystery is that God wants to be in relationship with his creation. Mm-hmm. When we come into that relationship with God, we enter into discovering the mystery of the depth of God's love. By the way, it's unfathomable. Mm-hmm. But that's part of the pilgrimage and the journey. Mm-hmm. We fo- I found out more about God's love in the last six months than I have in my entire life. Mm-hmm. Does that mean God didn't love me? No, it's because I didn't appreciate the mystery. Mm-hmm. I'm now appreciating the mystery. When I, when I recently I was in the hospital ward with my, my little grandson who was only five or six weeks old, and I had to hold him mm-hmm. while they inserted tubes in him mm-hmm. to get him to breathe and, mm-hmm. and, and that. I, I'm weeping over him. Dudley tears are coming into my eyes oh, as I'm weeping over cool. him. And the only thing I can w- pray is, my father... Hear my prayer. This is my grandson. Mm. This is my heritage. This is my life. You know, please do your work in him. Mm. Mm-hmm. And suddenly his breathing changed. Praise God. And then people were praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. And then we had another bout and they were praying. And and I just had this peace come over me that's going to be okay. Mm. And that Praise was God. because I knew that God was in the room. Yeah. 
this, this little life smaller than my forearm mm. nestled in mm. and god himself came into that room there was just me and kobe mm-hmm. and that was all that was needed praise god he couldn't pray for himself but no, i could yeah well, that's what intercession is isn't it and yeah. it's the mystery that god god heard the prayer this is another mystery to me pastor paul is um how my little words, my little words in my little home, when I pray, I can move heaven and earth. Mm. My little words can move the hand of God Almighty. That's a mystery to me. Prayer is a mystery. Oh, uh, if, if there is an eternal secret that I could pass on to anybody is to pray. Amen. Um, prayer is... is, is is that connection, that super highway between heaven and earth. Jacob experienced it when he woke up and he saw a ladder between heaven and earth mm. and the angels of God ascending and descending. It, it, it's telling us that there's this super highway that God has. The mystery is that God would listen to us. Mm-hmm. Mm. But then again, we know from the scripture that God has said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven, mm. forgive their sin, and heal their land. Mm. Mm. God has stated that in his word, that when we humble ourselves and pray, that's the position of prayer, mm. the alignment of prayer. The mystery is that he hears even the most unspoken prayer. You know, the prayer from the inside when you don't even open your mouth. <laughs> yeah? God hears it, and God keeps those. Mm. Prayers to him are never lost. Prayers mm. to him are never wasted. The only problem that we have sometimes, we don't get the answer we think we want. Mm. And yet, God's still working it all out. And in the end, you look back and think, ah, I see what you did, God. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's amazing. He knows best. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly <sighs> ah. above all that we'd ask or think. That's in our reading today. It is. My favorite verse. It's one of my favorite. The, the reality, the surety, the absolute concrete guarantee that God can do more than I can think or imagine. I, 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 like, to, I like to dream. <laughs> you know, I have to be careful where I do it, but I do like to dream. <laughs> I, you know, I, I wonder about events and, and all kinds of things. I do like to dream. Mm. But here's the thing. Whatever I'm thinking... God can multiply that by a trillion times Hallelujah. in his faithfulness, mm. in his in his kingdom. We need to be obedient to where God has called us. Mm. You may be a, a, a school teacher, a Sunday school teacher, who has faithfully just taught young, youngsters all your life. That's your corner of the vineyard. Yeah. That's where you've been faithful. That's where you, know, you will reap a harvest. You may be an usher on a door, mm. you know, um, you know, you may not even have a church building to go to, mm. and you're gathering at home. Let me tell you, Christ is there. Amen. The Lord God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are there. Mm. They were present when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit were present. Mm. And if they were present there, they'll be present Amen. with you. Thank you, Lord. And I like the fact that it's... Uh, Far more than anything I could ask or mm. think. Uh, and I think sometimes we limit God, don't we? Mm. You know, God is eternal. Uh, God is the creator of uh, the nebula. He's the creator of the galaxies. He's the creator of the universe. He is the sovereign, omnipotent God. And yet we limit him. And we think, oh, well, God can't or won't answer this prayer because it's not big enough. It's not important enough. Or eloquent enough. Or eloquent enough. But God hears, God hears my heart. In fact, you know, God hears me when I'm in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> he hears me when I'm lying in my bed, half asleep. He hears me when I'm walking down the street. He hears us and, and knows us everywhere we are. And, and, and nothing is insignificant. I think the, the concept of prayer has been restrictive. Um, you know, we should be, be understand that we, if we're in the car, very often I've been in the car, in a traffic jam and, and just turn the time into prayer mm. you know and prayer is not putting my hands together obviously whilst i'm driving <laughs> and closing my eyes 
prayer is is that communication you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. we've been talking about the mystery of god the greatest mystery of all was uh, that god in his grace and his love could come down incarnate in the form of his son jesus christ to to take our sins jesus was perfect in every way he was sinless not guilty of sin he was born outside of sin you and i are born in sin Mm. jesus was born outside of sin he had no sin in him and yet it pleased god to put upon him the sin of the world he became sin for us so that in him by the grace of God, we could become the righteousness of God. That's a mystery I can't get my head around, except to take it by faith. Sometimes the mystery we've simply got to take by faith. And it's a word for perhaps for somebody listening up today. You've never taken it by faith. It's a word for you. Receive it by faith. You don't have to fathom it out. You won't. You can't work out how God did this. But he did it. He sent his own son to die for you, to take your sin, so that if you put your faith in him, believe that he died and rose again, and confess him to be your Lord and Savior, you'll be saved from sin and death. Put your faith in Jesus today, and that's a word for you. Pastor Paul, thank you so much for joining us today on the Reality Bible Special. My great pleasure. Thank you, Dudley. You've been listening to The Reality Today, The Reality Bible Special, sharing it with Pastor Paul Pearson. Some intriguing discussion, discussing the mystery of God, the reality of that mystery. And that's taken from Ephesians chapter 3. I'd like to leave us with this verse, chapter 3, verse 18. May be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height. To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Jesus Christ is the revelation of the mystery of God. If we know Christ as Lord and Savior, we have the promise of eternal life. To know the full measure of all that is created, of all the spiritual realm and all the knowledge that God has. To know the fullness of Christ. To comprehend with all those who believe that which is wide, long and deep, the knowledge of God and His incredible love. I put it to you today, do you know this Christ that we speak about? I encourage you to open the scriptures, the Bible, and ask the Lord God Almighty to speak into your heart as I know he will, and to surrender your life to him, to follow him as Lord and Savior. If you'd like to know more, I would love to chat with you. Please do drop me an email, dudley at surereality.net. If you'd like to discuss anything that we've spoken about today on the program, drop me an email, dudley at surereality.net. The Reality is produced by Sure Reality, a listener-supported radio ministry. With your prayer and financial support, we can produce these radio programs to impact lives around the world, changing lives for the good, for good, by the reality of Christ. Please consider partnering with us by going to the website surereality.net and click on the menu option, Become a Vision Partner. Thank you so much for your company. From me, Dudley Anderson, until next time, keep walking in the reality of Christ.